I'll be showing you how to make a TARDIS from Doctor Who. The colors you will be needing is dark blue, white, and also black. We will be using the loom today in the rectangular shape like this. So the first thing you'll need for the top secure band is one white elastic at the very top middle two pegs like that and push it down at the top it's going to get a little crammed in here so we need to push all of the elastics we put down take two blue rubber bands and put it from the middle peg second middle peg to the peg out here and another two push that down a little bit and another two from the middle peg out to the left push that down too now for the next for the police sign here we will take one white rubber band put it over your hook and twist it around three times so making four loops and then take two black rubber bands and put it on your hook here and put the other on one on your finger and then just slide it onto the black and now take that and put it on your two left pegs here like that now we're going to do that all the way across making it look like the police public call box sign at the top so again twist it three times to make four loops take two black rubber bands and put them from the hook on your finger here slide it on and put it in the middle again same as before again twist it around three times to make four loops two black rubber bands and this will be the last bit for the sign at the top. And just slide it on like that. Now we will be doing the bottom piece. Now for the middle down when we go we're just going to be using two single blue bands going down because there's nothing really in the middle piece for the TARDIS. So the next on this side we will be taking a white band and twisting it around twice creating three loops and a black band twisting it once down here and twice at the top or twice at the bottom and once at the top, it doesn't really matter. Then take your blue bands and do the same thing like what we did with the sign. And then if you have to, just slide all of the loops on individually so you get the order that you want them to go on in. Slide them down and then just hook this one on the left side from the middle one we just placed. And we're going to do that again for the other side. These are supposed to be the windows. So twist it three times. Same with this. Once, and then twice.
These are the windows for the TARDIS. And then just slide that onto the right side of the middle band there. And then if you want to center them, you can. So we've got our two windows and a sign up here. Next, we're going to do the next layer. And so the next piece that we're going to be doing is this white part right here, which on the TARDIS on the front, that's the sign that is on the front. So from the left side, we will just be placing two blue rubber bands. Same with the middle. And then for over here, we will take one white rubber band and twist it four times, or well, three times to create four loops. Now just take another two, two blue rubber bands, slide it on. There you go. Now this part is really optional, but this is what I like to do for the left piece here to give it a more 3D effect. Then take one blue rubber band and twist it around either two or three times, whichever one. I'm going to do it twice. And then just lift this up with your hook and then slide this on. and then just hook it back on. Pretty easy. Now take another two blue rubber bands for the middle piece, down one. Remember to push everything down when you're done. We'll take another blue rubber band, twist it twice to create three loops. Another two blue bands. And slide that on. And then hook it on the left or right, whichever one, because we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do this for a little bit. Twist it around twice. Slide it on the, the two bands. And then just hook it on. Now when you're doing this, push everything down, because we don't want to have crammed loops for when we start looping everything. And we'll do this again, twice to create three loops, two bands, put this on the left here, then we'll take another two for the middle, and then one more that will loop. There. Now what we're going to do is we'll push that down. And we're going to take another, this is for the bottom, another blue band, and hook it onto the bottom peg. We're going to do this all the way across here. And then twist it about three times. Same idea as on your hook for when we did the windows, the sign, and everything. Just twist it twice to create three loops on the peg. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take with the rest of these blues that we've got is we'll put it across here, twist it to make a figure eight at the end, and then loop it onto itself. I do it like that, but some people do it 
or you can also take it onto here, loop it, and then stretch it out between the two pegs. This is what's going to keep our TARDIS intact together, so we don't want to forget these. Now I just gotta grab two more blue bands. Now we'll take another blue band, just put it across. So do that all the way up to the second last pegs here. This we don't want to loop because then we're going to end up having a loose piece. Now we're going to start looping. So just put your hook all the way to the bottom two elastics. Reach under all of the elastics, take the bottom two and bring it up to the one just above it and we'll do that all the way up to the top it might be a little tight but your elastics should not break from this so now that we've got the right row taken care of, we'll do the middle one. This is the easier part. So you want to reach your hook under all of the elastics again and reach just the bottom two. You want to make sure you don't get any others. So take the bottom two and then just do the same thing, loop it up. So the whole way you'll be creating that teardrop or raindrop drop shape. If you don't aren't making that shape, then you probably took too many or not enough bands from the bottom or you're not looping it properly. Reach under, grab the two, and loop it up. Now we'll do the same thing on the left row over here. Reach under for the bottom two elastics. And loop them up. Now if one ac loop accidentally slides off, you can take it with your fingers or your hook and just put it back onto the peg. Now that we're all the way up to the top of the TARDIS, we're going to take on the left side, the bottom two bands, and hook them to the middle. The middle is going to get a little full, so just push everything down. Do the same thing on the right side. Take the bottom two and put it over. Squish it down a little. Now reach under for the top middle piece here under all of the elastics and only grab the bottom white one and stretch it up this is this is what I do to make the secure band hook it back on the top and then reach underneath and grab the bottom white pull it through and then just keep holding on to it pull it tight that makes your secure band now you can start unhooking it from your loom. If anything comes loose, then we prob you probably did it wrong. Nothing should come loose. I suggest for the top three here, taking it off with the loom, the hook here, off the loom. And then for the rest, just gently pull it off.
There we go. And now you've got your Doctor Who TARDIS. It will be pretty bent when you first take it off. So to unbend it, just roll it up anyway, squish it together, stretch it out. Just mold it to the way you would like it so it's not too bent. It will stay a little bent, but it will get better eventually. Then you can move your windows and the sign at the bottom around. And there you go. We've got your Rainbow Loom Doctor Who TARDIS.